again, it's a lot decentralized and it's really much more of a patchwork rather than being led by the government uh, or led by a central authority. So what I'm seeing on a personal level is people finding ways to adapt to the new reality or circumstance. And some people manage that, some people don't, right? Anytime that there's some sort of large event that affects society, there are some people who can adapt to it and some people who can't. And I think it accelerates the, the kind of shift in power between those who can use technologies and those who can't, right? Those who are able to do things online or virtually and have the ability to be somewhat savvy about how they do that versus not. And I'll give you an example. Like I have a friend who worked in mobile um, and, and tech who recently uh, for the past few years has been doing circus performing. Like that's her first love and passion is doing circus performing, right? And she went from being a, a rock star in the tech world to being, a, you know, a rock star in the, the circus performing world. And she had all these gigs and starting to appear on commercials and advertising. What and then she, do? she does the, the swinging in, in, in the sky, the kind of that, or is she riding elephants? So what's, what's kind of circus performing? Does not ride elephants will swing in the sky, will contort her body into strange shapes, you know, like uh, does uh, various like acrobatic trips. It's difficult trips you to have a friend like that. Yeah, anyway, carry on, carry on. Yes, I understand. <laughs> and, 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 and so when all of her gigs kind of dried up, uh, she was left without an income stream, right? Like all of her commercial work and everything else all stopped because all the production stopped, all of her gigs got canceled. And she had uh, you know, compatriots, uh, circus performers that she worked with in these gigs uh, and doing this work. Mm -hmm. And her being a very savvy kind of tech person started stretching classes online. Like she started offering paid stretching classes, you oh, know, where cool. people join yeah, and they- Charging you know, straight away. She went straight into charging. There was none of this, none of this free stuff that we're all doing. I, I, I think she might've done a common. few classes. I think she did a few classes initially for free, yeah. but she was able to like, you know, tra transition her business and her, what she was doing, because she did teach classes also as part of her performance work, like she taught aerial acrobatics and other things. She was able to transition into this online world where she's, you know, not going to run out of money anytime soon because she's been able to make this transition versus some of her colleagues that, you know, she was telling me that are having a very hard time making this transition and who are finding it very hard to figure out how to make money in this new reality.